Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and welcome to 333 Magic 9, where the tarot cards and the astrology stars come together to help you. There's a lot of exciting energy coming at you this month, and here's how you can use it to improve your life. I hope you will like this video and also press the little bell for notifications when my new videos come out. The tarot cards that will be used this month correspond with the astrology. They are the death card, which represents endings and beginnings, the tower, which represents difficulty or a fall from grace, the knight of wands, which represents leadership or travel, and the moon, which represents confusion and a need for clarity. Taurus, the card for the first week of the month is the death card. It shows a skeleton in armor on a white horse holding a flag and trampling a king. <laughs> now this suggests the ever-changing cycles of nature with endings becoming new beginnings. It's important to look at the cycles of life and see what is static and what is unproductive. Your world is changing, but it is also full of new potential. So use this understanding and prepare, for if you are not stuck in the past, you can move to the future. So keep the faith. Now as we look into the astrology for the first week of the month, we see that Mercury is in the sixth house. He is squared Pluto up in the ninth house. And Venus will be helping you with a sextile also to Pluto as mysterious Pluto goes direct. Now, Mercury square to Pluto warns you to be careful to keep secrets when it comes to your ambitions. You may have long-term plans that need to be worked out in private, so don't tell anybody at work. Now, Venus can help if you agree that other people can have different goals than you. So use your intuition to find common ground in future projects. Now, Pluto's direct motion in your ninth house suggests it's time to make important changes in your knowledge or understanding so that you can get ahead. Now, the tarot card for the second week of the month is the tower. Now, it shows a man and a woman falling from a tower that has been struck by lightning, and even a crown falls from the top of the tower. Now, all this dis depicts destruction. It also represents what was considered powerful and desirable in the past is changing. This is a continuation of the cycle of change that has been happening and promises a new future will rise from the ashes of the past. Now, as we look into the second week, it begins with the Sun, Mercury, and Mars in your sixth house of routine and Saturn going direct in your tenth house of career and status. Now, the concentration of energy in your sixth house suggests that you need to focus on your work projects that can help you achieve success. If you keep focused and cooperate with co-workers, you can accomplish much. You may even gain some well-deserved recognition, and especially because Saturn is turning direct in the 10th house of status. And this can open new doors through professional excellence. If you're willing to take on responsibility, your efforts may bring you some public recognition and earned rewards. The tarot card for the third week of the month is the Knight of Wands. Now, this card shows a knight seated on a horse holding a wand in his hand. This suggests there's a lot of energy coming right at you. It's fast-moving energy and suggests there can be unexpected communications or an opportunity to travel. The challenge 
is to maintain a sense of continuity and separate yourself from acting too quickly or emotionally. You may feel a need to express your feelings. Now, as we look into the astrology for the third week, it will definitely require adjustments since both Mercury and Jupiter are going direct and Mars will square Pluto. So Mercury directing your sixth house brings improvement in communications. So talk about your work projects and your future plans. Jupiter going direct in the 10th house improves career opportunities. So this is a good time to network with professionals who can help you advance your personal goals. Put your best foot forward to get ahead. But be a bit careful with your ambitions and people that you don't really know because Mars will be squaring Pluto on the 21st. This is disruptive energy that pits your beliefs against the beliefs of others. So be a little bit careful. The tarot card for the final week of the month is the moon. It shows the moon shining in the sky. There's a dog and a wolf howling at a moon and the crayfish is exiting the waters. Now, this is a powerful card on the psychic and emotional level, which can affect you on the subconscious level. So you need to clarify yourself and listen carefully to what you are feeling, for there may be some deception in the air. Use your insight and vision to make wise judgments concerning new people and emotional situations. Don't fool yourself and don't allow others to fool you. Now, as we look into the astrology for the fourth week, it features confusion as Venus will be squaring Neptune. So Venus is in the eighth house and Neptune is in the 11th. Venus is going to be in the eighth house and suggest you're sharing your energy with others, but this can be really, really sensual. You're interested in bonding with others on a very deep emotional level, and you may hope for a moving experience. But the square to Neptune in the 11th house warns you are not seeing clearly, and you may be seeing friends and associates through rose-colored glasses. So avoid confusion by using the energy as Mars as he enters into your seventh house and sharpens your psychic judgment. Mars will be going into Scorpio. Remember, though, this also increases your need for connections and very much is also essential energy. So be careful with new people you don't really know. Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and this is my story. If you are a spiritual seeker, it may help you on your journey. I believe your spiritual development is as important as your religion. If you look at Christianity, it focuses on the life of Jesus. But Jesus was never a Christian. He was Jewish. If this thought intrigues you, you'll enjoy my new book, Light from Water, Freeing Jesus. It's available on Amazon.com and through fine bookstores. And it may help you on your spiritual journey. I'd like to thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Remember to subscribe because these videos are free and hit the little bell for notifications. And for a special offer, visit my website, internetpsychicreadings.com. I hope you will like this video and also press the little bell for notifications when my new videos come out.